Hi everyone, it's Renee, and I hope you're having a very blessed day today. It's a little bit cloudy and overcast and rainy today, so it's a perfect day to do some crafting. Um, for those of you, uh, I've had a couple questions on how to pronounce my name. My name, my full name is Renee LaDolce. Um, so for those of you who are having a hard time with my last name, which I know it's hard, it's La Dolce. Think of the song Dolce Vida. Um, La Dolce in Italian means sweet. So I always joke and say I married my husband just for his last name because I loved it so much. But um, uh, that's a whole other story in itself. We got engaged on our second date and we were married five months later and we just celebrated our 26th anniversary yesterday. So we are happily married. Um, people always are in shock as to how our um, courtship, I guess, happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, we technically got engaged on our second date and we're married five months later. So sometimes quick works. But anyways, going back. So today um, I am working on some altered CD um, holders, um, envelopes. And I figured it would be fun to do one together. But here's one. This I like this. It's just very simple. I just sewed around, have a picture on the inside. Um, these are coffee dyed. Uh, yeah, coffee dyed. Um, and then, like I said, I sewed this around. And then little button here for this one. Uh, here's another one, a butterfly with some cheesecloth and some lace that hangs down. And then I kept this. I kept the backs pretty simple. Um, I just loved this look, um, so I didn't want to cover it. So I kept that and just put a butterfly in the back. Um, so these open, all these open to put in. You know, whatever you'd like to put in. I'm probably gonna put some of these in my journal that I'm working on right now. I'm just working on these. Um, these have been shown before on YouTube videos. Um, everyone does them differently, so I just figured I'd show you how I do mine. Here's just another one um, with pink and white lace, cheesecloth flowers, um, some brads and some sewing around. So if you can see that. And then the back again, kept very, pretty simple. And then this one, since I am doing my corset journal and had chains in it, I added some chains to this one. Um, so here's the corset, picture of the corset. Um, so with some flowers, ribbon, um, cheesecloth and some lace and then of course the the chain and this one I just kept the back plain so there's that so I figured I'd go through one today and show you how to do these um, quickly so then again of course you could take this idea and run with it and I've been loving seeing all of your uh, creations over time um, a lot of people have been sending me their creations I will put my uh, email at the bottom in the comments um, I don't put much in the comments. I should probably start. Um, I'll be working on that. I'm new to this whole thing, so I'm just kind of going as I go. <laughs> but um, anyways, here are some coffee dyed uh, CD holders. And some of these just turned out just beautiful. I just love the effect I got on some of these. It went right through. Um, I think I used different coffee on, on some of these than I did on that. And I did a different apparently a different um, way of you know I let it sit a little bit longer I think I let this one sit a little longer some of them I got different effects on so whatever you know <laughs> um, but I love how they turn out like you get this this look even through the the clear acetate paper or whatever paper this is just the clear you know that they have here but I love it I just love this look so you can coffee dye tea dye you can keep it plain you can collage these you can stamp these I've just been keeping mine plain coffee dye so I started working on this one so we'll just we'll just continue working on this one I'll show you what we do and then like I said you can create some on your own so let me get seated let me make sure that we are in yes in screen okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you know either stamp this um, coffee dye it tea dye it whatever you want to do with it and then to get the picture and I'm going to use this picture since I had it um, you, the first thing you want to do that makes it makes this a lot easier is you want to open these up so carefully open them up and it doesn't really matter if you know some of the paper gets on here you're going to reseal them so it's okay just carefully open it up so it doesn't totally tear but 
this way you have it so it's totally open like this. It makes it a lot easier to work with. And then you can put your picture in and look in the front and see maybe where you want to center it or place it. Um, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see on the, you see these coffee dyed like coming even through. So it's like over her face and I like that. If you don't like that look, then make sure you don't put any on this part. Just put it on the paper part. Um, but I like that where it looks like it's just like she's even got stains on her. And you can even coffee dye these pictures to put in the back or antique them in any way you want as well. But, okay, so figure out where you want to place them. And then you might have to cut Looks like I'm gonna have to cut. Let's see if I want her down a little bit more. No, I'm gonna keep her like about that. I'm gonna keep her just like this. So I'm gonna just kind of cut and make sure that it's gonna fit in the, you know, without interfering with the, the fold here. Then the next thing you want to do is glue it in. So I just put glue just a little bit of glue, cause I'm gonna sew this. So I put just a little bit of glue around. And then make sure the picture is where you want it to be. Let me grab. So I hope you're all having a great day today as you craft along with me. <laughs> Like I said, it's really rainy and cloudy out today, so we're not getting some great light, but it's a good day to be inside crafting. And I had some time this afternoon, so I figured, why not? Let's get some done. So I'm working on my corset journal, and um, we're getting there, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Okay, then the next thing you want to do, if you want to sew, now would be the time to do it because you don't want to close this up and sew it because then you just sealed the whole thing. So you want to sew it while it's open. So if you bear with me, my, my um, sewing machine is off camera. Let me sew this real quick. I'm just going to go quickly around this picture. So you might just want to fast forward. Let me fast forward the video if you want, or you can just listen to me sew real quick. I'll do this as fast as I can. And I'm just following around the circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just sewing around the circle. You can sew around the edges, the circle. You can do both. And I'm probably going to go around the circle a couple times. So it gives that, that, I don't know, just a little messy look a little bit. Overlapping of the sewing. show you what I did. Ooh, let me get this thread. Okay. Okay. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> You're just looking at a blank screen. Okay. So we're back. I don't do any editing on my videos. Like I said, um, we'll just do this real quick. So all I did was sew around and I used a cream colored thread for this one. I wanted it to be very subtle. So, um, just sew it around the circle. Now you can sew around um, the edges as well, but this time I decided I am probably gonna like um, glue some napkins on here. And so I didn't want the, the thread on the side to be interfering with that. I mean, I guess it wouldn't, um, you can just glue right over, but we're gonna do it this way for now. Okay, so then 
The next thing you want to do is glue this back together. Um, my one, uh, if you are going to put my one suggestion, let me see here. If you're going to put something, let's see, I did it on one of these. Oh, here, this one. If you're going to put something with a brad on the back, I would suggest putting in the brad now while it's open because once it's sealed, once you close this up, it's, it's a little bit harder to get the brad in or anything that you're gonna punch through the paper. So if you're gonna sew on this side or do anything where you're, you're putting anything through the paper, do it while this is open before you, you glue it all shut again because it's a little bit more difficult to you know, put the brad through or whatever with it closed. So if you're gonna do something like that, if you're just gonna glue something, you can do that. Um, but here I put an eyelet and I tried doing it once I sealed this shut and it was very difficult to do. So I suggest definitely doing it while it's open. So that's just my little two cents right there. Little helpful hint. Don't make the same mistake I did because it's a pain to try to fix it later. Okay, so just you're going to glue these sides back together. Seal them really good. There we go. Now I'm, I'm going to try to Put some napkins on here. I had these um, these little napkins with the same color as her roses and the greenery. I don't know if you can see this. These little napkins that I had. So I cut these little images out real quick. Figured those would look good. Now I've never tried to decoupage them on to this part before. I mean, I've done it on the paper. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it works. Now this is how I do it. Um, I have some, I just use my, let me see, this uh, clear gesso, Art Basics clear gesso, and I just put some on some wax paper so it's easier than keep squeezing it out of the bottle. So I just put a clump there, um, and um, probably a little too much, but I'll use this throughout the day. So all I do is just put like a little bit amount onto the area that, you know, I'm a thinking that my napkin's going to go. We'll see how it works on this clear. And then I put my napkin down. Actually, let's see, I think I want it to kind of go over. And this kind of holds your napkin down for you. At least, at least it seals it a little bit, gets it down there, you know, holding it down there a little bit for you. And then I take it and gently go over the top because again, this will seal it down permanently. And it also makes it translucent if with the, with the you know, the gesso or the liquid or whatever you're using, it kind of, it makes your napkin blend in to the background and stick better. We'll see how it sticks to this. And I'm gonna rub off the extra because I don't know if that's gonna show up. We can probably wash that off after. We'll see. Oops. And for me, if the napkin tears, I don't really mind because um, it's the whole vintage look anyways. So if the napkin, there's a couple times when I've actually torn the napkin on purpose, like in the middle or whatever, and made it like a little hole or something because I wanted it to look like it's kind of ripping apart and falling apart and it's been, you know, well loved and used and that kind of thing. Like it's just a little more vintagey. I'm going to carry this over into the back. Sure, I'm in screen for y'all. Okay. And you're gonna get, sometimes you're gonna get the little, those little crinkles and, and what have you, but I like that. I don't know if you can see. 
So you get some of the little crinkles and hills and valleys a little bit. You can you can flatten them out as much as you want, as much as you can, but I kind of like that look where it's kind of looking, again, the crackle effect, I like that. So actually this is working pretty well, a lot better than I thought it would on this. So let me rub that off, okay. And then this one, I think I'm gonna carry it over. I'm gonna have it hang over her a little bit. I don't wanna cover her whole image and then carry it over to the back, so. So yeah, you just kinda figure out where you wanna do. Some people now use Mod Podge. Um, some people make their own. Some people just use glue. Um, I just, I've just found that this gesso. Oh no! Oh no, y'all! See, you see something happen. Easily fixable, hopefully. Hopefully, it'll be easily fixable. But yeah, mistakes happen while you are crafting, y'all. And then you just kind of go in. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Just go in and fix them the best you can. There we go. <sighs> Disaster averted. See y'all, you can see all the fun things that happen while you're crafting. My goodness. Yeah, this is my life. Things like that happen all the time. Now you get to see it on camera. There we go, it's all gone. Whew, fixed it. Okay, <laughs> moving on, moving on. Okay, let's get this going before this something else happens. Okay. Hmm, let's see, right about there, I think. Okay, and so you just do it again. But anyways, as I was saying, um, People use a variety of things. Some people just like to glue it down, which is their glue or glue sticks. Some people like to use Mod Podge. Some people make their own kind of glue-ish solution. There's a whole bunch of YouTube videos on how to do napkins in your crafting. So um, if you are interested in doing napkins, I use napkins a lot in my Bible journaling. I love using napkins in my Bible journal. Um, and on envelopes and um, in my junk journals and things like that as well. So, um, yeah, if you have not ever tried it, now it's hilarious because everywhere I go, whenever I'm at a party or at um, at a uh, event with napkins, I'm always like sticking the napkins in my purse, especially if they're pretty, really pretty napkins. I'm like, ooh, I could use this for later. And so I won't use the napkins personally. I will stick them in my purse and save them for later. So it's hilarious. And now when I go out, my friends will even start saving their napkins for me. They'll be like, here, you can use this for your crafting. I'm like, yay. So um, yeah, as you're out and about, look for napkins. But the, this is a great way to decorate something quickly, um, collage something quickly, and um, this off. collage something quickly, and have a really cool effect to your pictures. Ooh, I even like how the the thread is kind of showing through there. That is cool see what it looks like when it dries okay so let's do a close-up so you guys can see this to see how that's looking so far and once this dries it should even become a little bit more translucent so you can even see through it even more we'll see when I blow dry it and then it just kind of carries over onto the back so super easy. You just got to be gentle with it and don't, you know, dump your whole uh, gesso onto your picture like I did. <laughs> oh gosh. But you know, part of life, things happen. Okay, let me move this somewhere where I'm not going to knock it over again. Okay, let me grab my dryer real quick. And we're going to dry this. Again, I am using... Just my embossing tool, heat tool, which is great. Dries it real quick. Okay. 
I wonder how it's gonna dry on this clear part. If it's gonna crinkle it up or not. We'll see. This is the first time I'm doing it on a CD holder or folder or whatever these are called. CD envelopes. I have a whole stack of these too and I was like, what am I gonna do with all these? So here is a way you can use something else you have in your house use it in your junk journals. I might use these as tucks, you know, um, put them in my tuck spots and put some, some secret something in the CD holder. Um, I might put some paper in here or some journaling cards. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll use them for something um, and put them in and put them somewhere in my junk journals. But there's so many different ways you can decorate these. So Okay, so this is, I'm going to try to see if it, it's still a little wet, a little wet. Okay, it's getting there. It's almost completely dry. It's still a little damp on this side too. But there's that. Okay, so then, let's see, while this is finishing drying, let's see, I have some little... Gosh, I've got like little pieces all over the place of some ephemera pieces. And I had, you know, this pink lace that I've been using throughout my journal that you guys have, if you've been watching my videos, you know. Um, and that, again, it, it matches perfectly with this, with these colors. So I figured I'd use these. Um, I want to make sure, let me dry this just a little bit more because I want to make sure this is dry before I start gluing some other things on it. I'm liking how this is turning out. It's giving it like another dimension. It's like one of those pictures, like those pictures that you look at where you've got the different layers. This, I don't understand why this is starting to okay. okay. It'll flatten out once I put it under something. Okay. So next, let's see. Let's start gluing, figuring out where I'm going to put some things. So this is just some of that lace I had and some cheesecloth. I'm gonna keep this cheesecloth whitish. Well, let me see, I have, just dab it a little bit, give it a little bit of, make it not so white. Okay, and I like how that hangs like that. So, get your glue and just kinda The glue's coming through the lace a little so I can use some of that for the cheesecloth. You don't need a lot. I want to just, okay. And then, whoops, let's keep that down. Otherwise it'll take me forever to get it back out. Then, Let's do the darker. I do brushed corduroy ink, and I have this little ephemera piece. So I'm going to ink it up. You get inky, inky. And then this little, little rose to match her flowers in her picture. Ink that up as well. Okay, let's see. Do I like that? And maybe a piece of lace over it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So then just gluing it on. So all you really need is just some scraps. 
and a CD envelope and your imagination and that is it and let it go wild have fun with it as you saw I used chains on one I'm using ephemera on another I'm using lace and just little scraps you can use napkins you can you can stamp on them you can collage them it's probably not the way I had it but that looks good too um, you can stamp them and collage them you can add flowers add 3d embellishments if you want now I'm gonna put these in I might have to iron this I think it's so when I sewed it in I think Yeah, I just gotta even it out there. Okay. So, what was I saying? You can use ribbon, you can use pretty much anything you have. You can do 3D embellishments. Oh, but the reason why I'm trying to keep them as flat as possible is because I'm going to be putting them in my journals and I my journals are getting thick as it is. Which way? And um, if I'm gonna put these in tuck spots, I don't want them to be very bulky. So. I'm trying to keep them as flat as possible. I mean, with adding things, you know, a little bit of embellishments, but. And then I'm gonna put this up here, I think. This piece of lace. around here now if you wanted to put this on while it was open and then sew it all on too to make sure it's gonna stay or you know glue it and then do a little stitch you can do that as well but then don't seal this up so if you want to decorate the whole thing before you seal it up that's fine as well um, I just if I know I'm not gonna sew anymore I'll seal it up and there we go. Oh my gosh, are we done already? That is, they're so easy. You can have like an assembly line going um, with these. Get all this off my glue. So you can have an assembly line going and just have all your little you know CD holders out here like this, <laughs> and just you know start putting the inside images in and and then put a layer of lace and you know whatever and you can get a lot of these decorated in a in a quick amount of time um but here we go and I'm just gonna iron this in a little bit from the back and make sure it's flat but there it is look at that really quick I love how the napkins turned out on this so you can decoupage napkins on and then the little ephemera with some cheesecloth some lace some lace and that is it some little scraps and I might put um I might add a little bit more napkin to the back as well but this is how it would seal and if you want to put something here you can do that as well this is how it seals put things in it so here is another one so here were all of our CD embellished CD holders for all these were a few that I made this week. I'm working on a few other ones. These will be in my corset journal. But anyways, it's as easy as that. Look at that. It's really quick to do. Hope you all have fun and learn something. And maybe this will get your creative juices flowing again and get you going. And I would love to see what you all come up with. Please, please, please send me pictures because I would love to see them. And, um, you know, a lot of times I'll see your pictures and I'll be like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I wish I thought of that. So then you guys are inspiring me to continue and to make new things as well. So, and I'll take maybe one of my ideas that you guys have took, taken and like switched around and done something really cool with. And I'm like, wow, I want to do that. So then I'll go back and do one of those. So, um, really appreciate your time. I hope you all are having a beautiful day and have fun crafting and I will see you next time. And then next time I'll probably take you through so far what I have got done on my corset journal. We'll see. I'm, I'm, you know, little by little it's getting done, but 
we'll, we'll, we'll take you through that journey as well. And then at the end, I'll take you through a whole flip through. So anyways, thanks for joining me and I will see y'all next time. Bye.